Hey everyone, in this video I'll take you through a beginner's guide to free pick. In order to do so, first off we want to go to freepick.com and once we're there we should be met with a screen similar to this. We're just going to do a basic overview of everything that free pick has to offer and give you an idea of what you can expect. So here we have our main page and if we just scroll down then you can see that there are a variety of other options that other people have created and you can take a look there to see what it is that FreePick is capable of. If you see anything here that you like and you want to use, you can click the use this prompt option and that will actually bring you straight into the free pick uh, creator and from there you can actually generate based on the prompt that you just selected. We'll just go back here really quick and we'll see, let's take a look at some of the options here in the top menu. So we've got our tools and with the tools we have our image generator, the mock-up generator, we have the designer, edit templates from your browser, we have the video generator and the voice generator. So that gives you an idea of the different things that FreePick makes available. So it does have an image generator, a voice generator, and it does appear that it does lip sync. Uh, so we have also our edit tools, we have background remover, we can reimagine image variations with AI. So if you have an image and you want to see different versions of it, then you can use the reimagine option. We have the retouch. You can replace details quickly and easily. You have the upscale option. So if you want to increase the re resolution and the details of your image, you can use upscale. You can expand the image. If you want to uh, expand the sides or the top and bottom, then you can do that as well. And you also have the image editor. You can edit photos easily online. So this to me seems to be uh, pretty much in line with the retouch. I'm not sure quite what the difference is between those two, but that's just to give you an idea of what uh, options are there. Let's go ahead and look at the images uh, section here. So we have vectors, photos, and AI images. So here under vectors, we have a variety of different vectors that you can choose from. Illustrations, backgrounds, textures, patterns, cartoons, clip art, drawings, symbols and sides, silhouettes. So those are some of the vectors you can expect. Here we have some photos that you can use as well and those are in different categories business marketing nature food and drinks sport lifestyle people and emotions education industry so those are some of the images that you can expect and also we have thousands of ai powered images as well so let's go ahead and just take a quick look at that and you can see here that there are a variety of images that have already been created and you can take a look at these at your leisure and there are also different styles that you can search through as well. So that gives you an idea of what you can expect there. Let's go ahead and take a look at icons here. So explore all icons. So it appears here that you can create icons as well. So if you need an icon for your product, for your brand, then free pick can help with that under videos we have a variety of options here backgrounds travel people food nature business events sports let's just go ahead and explore all videos here very quickly and here you can see that you can generate your own videos these are some of the other things that people have created so this gives you an idea of what free pick offers in terms of video generation and it seems as though they do a pretty good job with their generations their video generations let's take a look at templates so we have the logo maker flyer maker resume maker poster maker business card maker banner maker Let's go ahead and take a look at the business card maker just for fun here so we could see here that you have a variety of templates that you can choose from and you can create from scratch as well. Let's go ahead and select create from scratch. We'll just take a look here to see 
what that does. Okay. So then, once you're in the main create page, you can see here that we have a variety of options here uh, on the left hand side of the menu. And here we have our various templates that we can choose from. We have business cards selected. So let's just see if there is a business card here that might be worth taking a look at. Let's just go ahead and try this one here. Okay, so that gives you an idea of what you can expect here. And then it does appear that you can modify each of these parameters as well. So that's pretty powerful, actually. This uh, What this is capable of as far as um, doing things like business cards and flyers and whatnot, it is uh, it does give you the ability to actually um, edit the text, which with some AI generators is not necessarily the case. You just kind of get what you get and then you have to deal with it. But in this case, we have our business card. Look, we've got uh, the different, uh, looks like the different assets are uh, in their own space. So that is quite nice. And then from here, if you just click on the words, then you've got your fonts, you've got your sizes, a variety of options here. So that's um, pretty awesome, actually. That's uh, something that is good with free pick for sure. So let's go ahead and go back to our main page here. And let's see, PSD. So we have stationary greeting cards, business cards, invitations cards, logos, social media, flyers, posters, and banners. So that is in the PSD section. We have mockups. So if you are hoping to make t shirts or any variety of things, devices, uh, images for, for uh, um, apparel, for uh, posters, for book covers, a uh, variety of things here. Um, FreePick does offer some nice options for that as well. So that's uh, another place where it stands apart. So we'll just take a look at the more here and let's see, we've got a uh, free presentation templates, slides go. We have uh, WePick, Flaticon, Vitivo, free videos in 4k and full hd interesting story set free editable illustrations we've got 3d uh, pre-rendered images fonts disney templates um, so yeah there's a variety of things here that uh, look fairly interesting it does look like free pick is really offering a lot of interesting content here so that's pretty nice let's go ahead and focus on the main functions so we have our image generator and we have our video generator so let's go ahead and start with our image generator and in this case let's go ahead and uh, Describe your image or upload. Okay, so we'll go ahead and we'll just describe an image here. Let's try, um, let's just stick with our, okay, let's just go somewhat simple here. So we have our prompt and of course with prompts if you want to get more in detail you can. Here you can improve your prompts by toggling this with the AI prompt. You can change your custom seed. You can also get inspiration with the randomizer. You have different modes. So we have Mystic, Flux, Classic and each has a sub menu as well. So we've got Mystic 1.0, 2.5, and 2.5 flexible. For Flux, we have Fast 1.0. The regular one, we have 1.0 Realism, and we have 1.1. Those are all behind the subscription wall. So just keep that in mind. And we also have Classic fast with infinite variations perfect for exploration so it looks like that's the only one there so we'll go ahead and just stick with the base model and then here we have different styles so we have different styles that we can choose from so let's go ahead and okay so you could see here if you have the little crown then that means it's only available in feature so just keep that in mind we'll go ahead and try the comic style here we have under effects we have a variety of effects that you can choose from and uh, that'll just give your image a certain quality 
we've also got character. So if we want to create consistent characters, so that's kind of nice. So here we have our new character we can add. We've got some characters here that they have already added. So if you want to create your own character and you want some consistency, then it seems that that is what that is for, is to create consistent characters. So that's quite nice the way they have that laid out. We'll go ahead and uh, actually we'll take a look here and you can see, yes, we have a variety of aspect ratios to choose from. We'll go ahead and go with 16 by 9. You can also change the amount of generations that you get. So we'll go ahead and click generate now. And we'll just give this a moment. We'll see how fast it goes. It looks like it's pretty quick not having to wait too long, there you go. So we now have our result. Now we did put comic there, and this one here appears to be the most comic-like. Uh, these other ones here maybe have a slight comic vibe to them, but not really. This one here is the one that uh, really looks like it's from a comic book. We've got our three little dots here. And you can see that we can either copy the prompt, we can publish, or we can delete. Let's go ahead and select that there. And what I'm looking for is the ability to take this and turn this into a video. Is that going to allow us? Okay, reuse image as. Okay, here we go. So if you click on the button here at the top right hand corner, then you'll see that you can reuse the image as a prompt, reimagine, style reference, or video. Let's go ahead and select video because I want to see how the video function works. And here it appears that we are getting an error. And I'm assuming that is because we are on the free plan. So with the video generator. Let's go ahead and try one more time. Just, yeah, so we're still getting that error there. So what that tells me is that for the free version, you can generate images and you are provided a certain amount of usage here. Let's go ahead and take a quick look and see what it is that we have with our free plan. So we'll go ahead and take a look at Upgrade plan, okay, so let's see here. Okay, so this is our free plan here, okay, and then it looks like with the free plan, what we get is we get 10 downloads per day. Now it does seem to indicate that we can not do some video generation, so I'm not sure why we got an error message with the video generator there. I would assume it's because we're on the free plan, but it does seem to indicate that we do get some video generations for free. So um, I'm gonna assume that maybe they're just having an error there, but this is just to give you a basic overview of what to expect with free pick. And I would say that of, of the different uh, software platforms out there for AI, this seems to be one of the better ones. It does seem to be uh, a one-stop shop for a lot of different options that you might wanna use in your generations. And I would say that it comes recommended. That's all there is to it. If you found this video helpful, please leave a comment and like and subscribe for more helpful tips.